Hi, it's Kyle here with Andy Up Graphics Supply with another Silhouette tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do print and cut. So the first thing you want to do is determine whether your image is good for printing and cutting. So I have this picture of this leprechaun up on my screen here. And you notice it has this white background. So if you have a very colorful background, it's going to be hard to get a nice clean edge around it. So you're going to want to make sure you have a nice white background, colorful image that you want to put on a shirt or whatever you're going to put it on. Um, so now that I have my image, I'm going to want to trace it because I need a cut line all the way around the edge. I need the silhouette to know exactly where I want it to cut, which is all around these edges. And I'm actually going to get it to cut in cut all the way around. So first thing I'm going to do is in the trace panel which is one, two, three, four, five down. I've already got it open here. It looks like a piece of toast or a butterfly. Those are the things that people often refer to it as. So in the select trace area you just click that and then hold down your mouse and hover over the entire image. Now you can see that I've got, it's going to trace all the way around this edge, but you have this piece here. I could click trace outer edge and it's going to get all of this, but it's going to miss this piece in here. So I want to make sure that I get that because I don't want a weird white spot if I put this on a black shirt. So very slowly, I want to adjust the threshold. As you can see, it starts filling in. So as this image fills in, because I'm adjusting the threshold, you'll see that it's no longer going to trace those images. Bam. And I'm actually going to leave these pieces here, and this one here, and these two guys. I'm going to get rid of them later, and I'll show you how. I don't want to spend too much time messing around with the high pass and the scale and all that stuff to try and dial those in. I think it's time not well spent when I can show you how to just remove those pieces very quickly. So I'm just going to go ahead and click trace. And then one of the most important things is you don't want to move your trace away from your image. Now I'm going to just to show you. Now if I move this away, this is what it's going to trace around. Now you can see his socks and his eyes are white and this piece in his pipe is white but I want those to stay white. I don't want those to be the color of the shirt. I want those to be white but I don't want this inner piece right here to be white. I want that cut out. So as you can see I actually have this, it traced this corner edge. I want to get rid of that. I want to get rid of these pieces in his boot this piece here and his eyes and it looks like there's a little tiny piece right there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit control Z or it's command Z if you have a Mac command uh, control Z if you have a um, PC and that's just the undo hotkey so you could go up here and hit undo as well but now I know what images I, what pieces of this image I want to get rid of like this line here if I can click on it so now I double clicked on it and it's brought up all these nodes so if I click on this node and then tap the delete key it will delete that red line so it won't cut that and then I will go in I'm going to zoom in here because I want to get rid of these pieces too so if I just click one of them and then keep tapping the delete button. It'll get rid of those little pieces because I want those to stay white. So I'm just going to go through these very quickly. Get rid of that. This piece I want to be white. 
there. I'm going to scroll down. Now this inner piece here I'm going to leave because I want the silhouette to cut this piece out. So if I put this on a blue shirt, the blue shirt will show through here as opposed to a white piece. So anything that's in the inside that you couldn't get rid of in the trace, you're just going to want to go ahead and delete. But it's super important you don't move this off of the printed picture because if it doesn't line up right, it'll be a disaster. So that looks good. Hopefully I didn't miss anything. All right, so I can click out of that to get rid of that. So now if I move this away, you'll see it's just the outline and it still has that piece in there. So if you go and you put this back here, when you print it, it's going to come in and miss all of this. So that's why it's super important to make sure that you're keeping things exactly on top of each other. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the undo twice to bring this back so it's exactly on the lines here. So now I'm going to highlight both of these. I'm going to right click and I'm going to hit group. Now I'm not so worried about it separating from each other and messing up the print. So now I'm going to print this on an 8.5 by 11 sheet. So what I want to do is go up to this page set up here. The first one it looks like a piece of paper with the folded corner. And I'm going to set up my page to successfully print and cut this. So I'm going to use a Cameo. I'm going to use a cutting mat that's 12 by 12. And the media size. This is important here. So the media size, media meaning what am I what am I cutting? What size am I cutting? So I'm going to cut 8.5 by 11 inch sheet of paper or printable heat transfer in this case. So I'm going to go ahead and pick the 8.5 by 11. Now it's going to just show me in highlighted white exactly where I can place this image inside it to be successful to print and cut. Anything on the outside, it's not going to cut. So in the page setup at the top, there's the piece of paper, then there's your grid setup, and then there is your registration marks. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn my registration marks on. I don't ever mess with any of this stuff. I leave it at default, default, and just leave it alone. Th these are the this black square, this line here, and this line here is what the silhouette will come out and read to know exactly where this image is. So I want to make sure that this image falls inside this cutting area. So I'm just going to move, shrink this down. Now it doesn't matter if the white part is over here or under this. It's just about the part that's going to cut. So I'm going to cut the maximum piece that I can. Oh. All right, so now you can see the leprechaun is inside all, all four sides of this red line. Now, now you have to print it. Once you print, once you figure out where this is, this is going to be your printable image. And once you print it, you cannot move it on the screen. If you print this and then move this, when you go to send it, it's going to cut here, but you've printed it over here. So once this is set and you hit print, don't touch it, don't move it. A lot of people uh, don't find success because they move it after they've printed. So once you've decided this is where you're going to print, you don't want to move it. So if you go up here into File, hit Print, it's going to pull up all of your printers. So once you find the printer that you want, you know, yeah, you got your printer, you hit Print, and that sends it to the printer. Now I'm going to show you what happens after you print it, how we get it to cut. Okay, now that we have it printed out, 
with our registration marks. Boom, boom, boom. We don't have to worry about this red line. It's not going to matter. We're going to cut around the image anyway. I don't even know if you can see that red line. But now I'm going to load it onto the silhouette mat and cut it. Okay, now I'm going to load up the printed image right onto the silhouette mat just like you would any other image or heat transfer vinyl or adhesive vinyl. I have it right to the edge. All the registration marks are there. They're there and there. And then you just load it up to this line here. Probably help if I turn it on. Like I said, line it up to the line, the arrow button, or the load button if you're if you have a previous version. Now if you see on the screen here, I haven't moved it since I printed it. So because I haven't moved it since I printed it, it's exactly on the same part on the screen as it is on this printed sheet. Alright, so now I have it set to Blade 2 Speed 5 Force 5. And I'm going to, since the registration marks are on, the silhouette will know to come out and read these registration marks because they're on the screen. If you take those off, it won't know to cut. It won't know to find the registration marks on the paper here. So don't take those off. So I'm just going to go ahead and send it. Now it's coming out and it's reading the registration marks. And now it's going to start cutting. Now it's done printing, you just go ahead and unload it. Now you can weed the excess out. So first thing I'll do is I'll weed this piece in here that we talked about earlier. So we don't want that to press. And then I'll weed the excess. Boom. There you go, that's the weeded, weeded out print and cut. Now I'm going to go ahead and press this to a shirt. So we got it cut out, got the heat press warmed up to 350 degrees, set for 30 seconds. I'm going to peel this off the mat. So once you have this off, now you have to peel it off the paper backing. Doing that, you don't flip this over and press it. You have to peel it off the paper. So I'm going to very carefully, hopefully, you guys can see that. Maybe. Alright, so I'm just peeling it. Careful not to rip it. It does come off easy, it's just I'm just trying to be careful with it. Alright, so now I have the design 
He's peeled off. Now once you put this on the press, it's going to start to curl from the heat from the heat press. So I'm going to throw them on here as quickly as I can and throw my Teflon sheet on and then press them. So very quickly I'm going to figure out where I want them and cover them with my Teflon sheet and then press 350 degrees for 30 seconds. I'm going to speed this up. All right, and then you're going to remove your Teflon sheet and pull your design off. There you go. You got your print cut t-shirt. Super cool. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. If you uh, need any printable or anything like that, put a link in the description for it. Let me know.